it. Perhaps <clears throat> we taking care of this simple errand for you might uh, help compensate for a few nights' stay? I, I do not require compensation, but if it makes you feel better about it, certainly. Thank you. You're quite the gentleman. He's actually not the gentleman. We met a guy who goes by the name no, Gentleman. Uh, you uh, the uh, oh, uh, she's like, yeah. oh, okay, got you. I don't know who knows who. He's blue as well, and he's always sweaty. Yeah. Dark hair. He's wet. Yeah. He's a wet, he's wet always walker. really wet. A wet walker. Yes, I, I, I know of him. Oh. You know of the gentleman? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because we're not cool with him so, so much. Well, I know of a man of you describe, of bluish skin and quite sweaty, yes, he has come through before. Was he nice, or was he not nice? He was very nice. He's very dashing. Yeah? I told you about him before. What? What? Wait a minute. But not the gentleman, though. I don't don't know the name of the gentleman, but yeah. He has dark hair. He's got like black hair, that's really long and blue skin. <clears throat> oh my God! Your mother knows the gentleman. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, it goes a no. little deeper than that, Lucy. Oh, no. <laughs> Sweat right there. We <laughs> all. <laughs> but this is why you can do like, kind of like watery stuff, right? Yeah. Like cold stuff, cold right? Stuff. Can blood. you do that? Tell me more of this, this gentleman, please. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, he lives in Zadash, and he lives in a bar, and he's got long black hair, and he's really like, mm, kind of charming, sort of, but. Kind of snarky at the same time. Well dressed, smooth <laughs> voice, <laughs> little <laughs> patch of dark hair on the <laughs> chest. Right <laughs> <there>. <laughs> <laughs> the temple <laughs> nip. Wait, yeah. Licky tap. Licky tap. Not the leaky nip. That's a very, very good Wait, what's the name of it? I'll look it up. I'll look it up. in the other book. Name of the evening nip. Evening, no. 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 That's the yes, evening nip. Evening nip. Yes. Yes. The evening nip. Oh my God. We're freaking out. We're freaking out. This is huge. You lost me. We probably need to hurry. Let's. This is going to be an odd request. Let's not go to Whitestone. Why not? I feel like we're being watched. Maybe Vasselheim? Oh, oh yeah. that's right. Why did they know we were that? here? Oh, Vasselheim would be. Why didn't we anyway. ask Guy? Why didn't you just? Why did you just kill the assassin, the assassin guy that we were gonna ask? It was he an undead English thing. English he was anyway. just gonna like make a tongue. He out was us. just. Bleh, bleh. He wasn't really going to offer information anyway. Who are you? Who the fuck are you? Hi. Um, why are you doing that voice? <laughs> no. Is that the imp? No. Standing by the doorway, you see there, arms crossed, casually standing before you. Vecna. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh Come shit, fuck, ball. You must have traveled quite a distance to be far from my sight. Is he see through? I tried to shoot an arrow at him. Oh god. Okay, roll for an attack. Oh Jesus. Focusing through Frumpkin's eyes, you look into the interior of this <laughs> darkened uh, gun deck of the ship. There are two cannons within there, as opposed, it looks like it was built from multiple, multiple cannons, but there's only two in there, a very beautiful make. Um, and immediately, just at a glance, you can see these are not standard cannonball-based cannons. These are arcane in nature, and who knows what they're capable of when fired. Um, it is very dark. And you watch two figures kind of waltz in with haste. Um, you hear one voice, Ludinus, say, I couldn't help but gauge your discomfort with the conversation. And the other figure goes, uh, Well, I just wasn't expecting to see them. And Ludinus goes, Shh, hold on. Does some hand motions. And as he releases what looks to be a simple spell, there's this faint shockwave. 
that dissipates within a radius of them. Uncertain what it does, though you gather in the moment that it's probably some sort of a radial dispel to lock down or destroy any localized magic. Um, however, the illusion around Lord Desrin Thane vanishes. <gasps> and there standing uh, in his place is a gently floating male drow oh. with short hair. No. Oh. He's a traitor. He's such a, he's such a fool. So blue, so beautiful. Look at it, the waves are so beautiful. To which the revealed Essek responds. <laughs> Of course, I am uncomfortable with this. I, I did not know they were going to be coming directly here. And you can see, like, there's conflict in his eyes. And Lucas. Um, partway into the evening's resting, my colleagues will say, with the wee hours of the morning, post midnight or so, uh, your door opens slightly, Vax. Um, and you hear a little. On your door. Yes. You look over and you see Gilmore pop his head in with a soft smile. Says, I'm sorry if I'm waking you up. I. Uh... It's all right. Here, and he takes a looks at Bruce's what's like a folded pile of material and throws it at the foot of your bed and goes, "Come back, say, made you a gift. Put it on. Come walk with me a while." We have a lot to talk about. I open it up. It's a, a very well-crafted silk robe of like dark blue and black, uh, beaded nice against the skin. It's a really, really nice. Give me a minute. There's a wooden screen in the room. I go behind it and I wipe any oil. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> it's all right. All right, and I put it on. All right. <laughs> he just waits for you patiently yeah. in the hallway. Sure. So he just kind of begins walking along, kind of puts his arm out to you. Hey. Take his arm. You guys walk up along the hallway, leads you to a, a staircase that leads up further, and he goes, I know a lot has happened these recent months, and I've been watching from afar keeping tabs on your journey best that I can. But I still know so little. And uh, you ascend the lengthy staircase and you make your way to the higher floor. Uh, you eventually open an intricate door and walk out onto a wide balcony in that tower that overlooks the grounds and the castle before you, uh, the beautiful moonlight, the night air. Uh, see the moon is nearly full and the white light illuminates the densely forested countryside surrounding the castle. He kind of closes the door and walks up to you at the edge of the of the balcony, looking over at all, kind of elbows on the edge. Some time has passed, Vax, and much of the world moves on to newer, greater threats. But true pain never really heals. He turns to you steps up to you, looking you close in the face. You hurt me deeply. It continued to hurt. Agony. For weeks. Months. Pain I had never experienced. It's all I can think about. Can I make an inside check? You would if you had time. Oh my god! I knew it, I knew it. No! The pain hits you suddenly, before anything else does, as you're lost in that face and the sudden feeling and sensation of terror and horror. Um, you suffer uh, 18 points of piercing damage. 
and uh, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Well, that's my specialty. Constitution save? Mm-hmm. Eleven. You feel the poison. Uh, I'll use luck. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen, okay. You feel what should be a pulse of poison hit your system and you just managed to fight it off as suddenly you look down and there is Gilmore holding a blade thrust into your stomach, your robes now beginning to fill with crimson red around the wound. It's so that moment you see him pull you in and stare into your face with a very, very low growl. It's all I think about. And you watch as a flicker to his form happens and you see for a second there's a flash, not skin, but fur. You see teeth, you see whiskers, and the hand holding the dagger is facing the other direction. That's where we're gonna end tonight's session. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> so yeah, we'll be back uh, next week. That fucked with my head, Matt. Wow. What are you doing? What a rock Good Sasha job. does. Oh my god! What the fuck? Wow. Has okay. he been a rock Shasta the whole time? Wait, is it the rock Shasta that's different? Is it not Gilmore? So many questions! <laughs> <laughs>12 points of slashing damage, as well as four points of psychic damage. Okay. It's, it's, like a, it's a priest of Ukuto or something. Ukuto. As you lie there, the blade, a familiar looking barnacle encrusted falchion, partially thrust into your abdomen. The creature holding it appears humanoid before you. No. But you see heavy, tattered robes and slivers of cloth. You see grayish, blue skin. You see a humanoid face with long, thick tendrils of hair, yellow eyes, and the jaw itself seemingly split partially open and just kind of breathing like an exaggerated predator. Let's go ahead and roll initiative. What? what are you talking about? <laughs> this unexpected combat is brought to you by Dwarven Force. No. Starboard. Okay. Oh, so, no. uh, there is a the singular figure standing up here. It seems to be giving orders and shouting it out to the side. Uh, female voice rings out across the, the central of the chamber and says, "Remnants." Slay the intruders and grant their bodies to the cause. Can I see the, whose voice that was? Uh, make a perception check. <clears throat> Whoa. Whoa. That was crazy. What a crazy roll. Uh, 27. 27. Uh, it's hard to see. She's kind of in the dark right there in the spheres and a lot of light. Uh, but the voice sounds familiar. Yes. Familiar. Familiar. All right, so. At this point, the woman pulls an amulet. The, um, 
The woman pulls an amulet out from, from beneath the robe, and as she clutches it in her hand, the orb shifts from black no, no. to white. What? Like a, like a, like a white-gray color. Oh, no. And you watch as the wind suddenly gets whipped up even heavier and lights up the area around the space. You watch as the cloaked hood kind of flows back. And uh, oh, no. for a brief moment before the grin crawls across her face, you see the face of Delilah Briarwood. <gasps> No! She's dead. She died. We killed her. Oh no! Yet there she is at the top of the ziggurat. How? How? It's like a soap opera. Dun dun dun! I broke the world for you. Returns. <laughs> I would like you all to roll initiative. Oh! <laughs> what? Oh, On our what? I know. I know. I know. This looks like a crazy fight. 